Let's take a look at how to find the number of each type of coin. Mason has a total of five dimes and pennies worth 14 cents. How many of each coin does Mason have? Notice they gave us three answer choices, either two dimes and three pennies, three dimes and two pennies, or one dime and four pennies. So let's take a look at these answer choices and see which one is going to give us a total of 14 cents. Well, dimes, so you have to think about the value of each coin. Now, each of these adds up to five total coins, right? Two plus three would give me five coins, three plus two, five coins, and one plus four, five coins. So they all meet that criteria. But we wanna see which one also gives us 14 cents, right? Our value total has to be 14 cents. So thinking about dimes and pennies, it's important to keep in mind that each dime is worth 10 cents each, and each penny is worth one cent each. Okay, so if I look at my first answer choice, well, two dimes, two times 10 cents would already be 20 cents, and then three pennies at one cent each, this would give me 23 cents, not 14 cents. If I have three dimes and two pennies, well, three dimes, three times 10 cents is 30 cents, and then two cents for the pennies, this would be 32. That's also too big at 32 cents. One dime and four pennies. Okay, well, one dime is gonna be worth 10 cents, our pennies are one cent each, four of them would be a total of one cent times four, or four cents. And you can see 10 cents plus four cents is gonna add up to 14 cents. And I wrote mine with the dollar sign. This is the exact same thing as saying 14 cents this way. So he has to have one dime and four pennies. Owen has a total of nine quarters and dimes worth $1.20. How many of each coin does Owen have? Okay, so we need to make sure our total number of coins equals nine and our total value equals $1.20. So five quarters, and let's check out our answer choices and see which one works. Five quarters and four dimes. Well, five plus four adds up to nine coins, but let's think about our value. Quarters are worth 25 cents each, right? Each quarter is 25 cents. And dimes are worth 10 cents each. Okay, so if he has five quarters at 25 cents each, well, five times 25 cents, that's gonna be $1.25 right there. So that's already too big before I even add the dimes to it. Let's look at our second answer choice, two quarters and seven dimes. Okay, well, if he has two quarters that are each worth 25 cents, well, two times 25 cents, that would give me 50 cents so far. And then seven dimes, well, dimes are worth 10 cents each. So 10 cents times seven would give me 70 cents. And I can see this looks like it's gonna work out if I add 50 cents and 70 cents. Well, I'm gonna put a zero here. Five plus seven is 12, so I would put my two and carry the one. So I wind up with $1.20. That works out perfectly. Eva has a total of 13 half dollars and dimes worth $3.30. How many of each coin does Eva have? Okay, so half dollars, we don't see them too often, uh, but you might see them every once in a while. Half dollars are worth half of a dollar or 50 cents. Right, so each half dollar is gonna be a 50 cent coin. And dimes, we know, are worth 10 cents each. 
So when we take a look at our answer choices, we want to make sure that they give us a number of coins that adds up to 13 and a dollar value that adds up to $3.30. So if I look at my first answer choice, five half dollars and eight dimes. Well, let's see, how many coins does that give us? Five plus eight is 13. Now let's take a look and see if it's the right value. Five half dollars and half dollars are worth 50 cents each. Okay, so if we say five times 50 cents, we're gonna get $2.50 from the half dollars alone. Dimes are worth 10 cents, so if she has eight of them, eight times 10 cents is gonna be 80 cents. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. If I add this up, I've got a zero in my hundredths column. Five plus eight gives me 13, so I'm gonna put the three, carry the one, and now that would the two and the one would give me three. So this gives me $3.30, so I don't have to look any further. That matches up with my dollar value and my number of coins. Jackson has a total of 11 nickels and pennies worth 19 cents. How many of each coin does Jackson have? Okay, well we know each nickel, nickels are worth five cents. So each nickel is gonna be five cents each. And pennies are only worth one cent. So each penny is gonna be one cent each. Okay, and then we wanna see which answer choice is gonna give us a total of 11 coins and a value of 19 cents. So two nickels and nine pennies. Well, two plus nine gives me 11. Let's see what happens with our dollar value. Two times five cents. Well, five cents times two gives me 10 cents. So that would be 10 cents from the nickels alone. And we know pennies are worth one cent. So if he has nine pennies at one cent each, that's gonna be a total of nine cents. And I can see that this is looking really good because 10 cents plus nine cents, when I add them together, is gonna add up to a total of 19 cents. I wrote mine with the dollar sign, but notice this is the exact same thing as 19 cents written that way. Austin has a total of nine quarters and pennies worth 57 cents. How many of each coin does he have? Okay, well taking a look at these to see which I think is gonna make sense. Without doing all of the work, just thinking here for a second, quarters are 25 cents and pennies are only one cent. So if he has four quarters, four times 25 cents is already a dollar. So that's gonna be bigger than 50 cents in just quarters. That one's too big. If I look at my second answer choice, two quarters and seven pennies. I think that's gonna work out because if we say two times 25 cents, that's gonna give us 50 cents in quarters And seven pennies at one cent each, well, seven times one cent is gonna give me seven cents. So you can see if I add up 50 cents and seven cents, that's gonna give me a total of 57 cents. Okay, Caitlin has a total of 20 cents in her two pockets. 
If she reaches into her right pocket and finds the coins below, then what coins are in her left pocket? Okay, so taking a look at these two coins, notice they say five cent right on them. So these are nickels. Each one of these is worth five cents. So if I say, okay, five cents for the first nickel, plus another five cents for the second nickel, so far, with what she already took out of her pocket, she's got a total of 10 cents. Notice it told us she had a total of 20 cents in the two pockets. So if there's 20 cents in both pockets, and we already have 10 cents out of one, we can say 20 cents minus 10 cents. That means that there's 10 cents left in the other pocket. So I just wanna figure out what's a possible way that I can make 10 cents. And I can't use half dollars, those are 50 cents each, or quarters, those are 25 cents each, those are too big. I do have a few options. It could be one dime for 10 cents, or she could have no dimes and two nickels, right? Two times five cents would give me 10 cents, or she could have 10 pennies, right? 10 pennies would also give me 10 cents. Since he didn't tell us how many coins, we have a few options here. We could kind of figure it out. But I think, let's say she has one dime. That was one possibility, the first one we saw, one dime at 10 cents each.